Good Mark. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, time for us to get into our Tech Note conversation. And uh, today we're talking about healthcare information technology. And of course, uh, before we get into that, there is yes. some news that is breaking is just in. Very sad news. Right. Sad, sad, sad news indeed. It's a dark morning for East Africa and um, Kenya to be imprecise. News in is that uh, the CEO, Bob Collimo, has passed on and I'll just read off the you know official note that is coming through from Safaricom and they say it is with deep sorrow that we announced the passing away of Robert Colimo, CEO of Safaricom, which occurred at his home in the morning, the 1st of July this morning. In October 2017, Bob proceeded to the UK to receive treatment for acute leukemia and returned in July 2018 to resume duties. He has been undergoing treatment for his condition since then in different hospitals and most recently at Aga Khan University Hospital in Nairobi. In recent weeks, his condition worsened and he succumbed to the cancer at his home this morning, the 1st of July 2019. It continues to say that uh, Bob Colimo leaves behind a wife and four children. On behalf of the board of Safaricom, we extend our deepest condolences to his family, staff of Safaricom, partners and the nation at large, East Africa involved, um, who he served selflessly and with joy. Wow. Sad morning indeed. Yeah, very, very sad morning. Mm. Uh, very sad, sad, sad story. Um, anyway, we'll um, definitely keep you um, uh, detailed with um, all the details that come in as the day goes on. Of course, uh, a lot will be arranged and we'll keep you informed. All you have to do is, is stay with us here. Well, um, let's get into our Tech Note conversation. And uh, World Health Organization figures show that every two minutes a woman dies somewhere in the world during pregnancy or childbirth. Donors have previously lauded government's effort and intervention to bring down uh, the under five mortality rate from 109 to 53 deaths per 1,000 live births between 2006 to 2016. But at 336 deaths per 100,000 live, uh, live births, the country's maternal mortality rate is still among the highest on the continent and in the world. Right, so to reverse this trend, a group of young people has come up with innovative measures through ICT to not only improve access to healthcare information for a new mother, but to connect them to nurses for in-home postnatal checkups and support while creating employment opportunities for nurses through technology and innovation. So in studios, we are joined by Mr. Daniel Rionga. He is the software engineer at Heka, and he's here to help us understand how this amazing app works good morning and welcome to the show good morning happy to be here thank you so much david first of all um you people at Teheka, uh you're really doing a good job uh, we're going to find out uh, about that job but for thank how you. long have you been in existence yeah so Teheka started back in 2015 and uh at that point we we're just an ordinary bedside nursing company but uh all things changed for us when we joined the app accelerate program by unfpa back in 2017 and at this time, that's where we were tasked with a, uh, a problem of coming up with a solution to sexual reproductive health challenges for the youth. And for us, we chose a section in the urban area. And to us, at that time, we looked at, at our team that we had, some of whom were youth mothers, and the challenges they had gone through in and out of hospital after delivery, things like lack of support, social and in and out of hospital, uh, access to healthcare services, as well as even not attending postnatal care visits after they had been discharged. Mm -hmm. And to us, we thought, what can we do? And our solution was, can we change what we're doing now, providing nurses for bedside services, to nurses now offering a more big solution, like visiting in homes, do checkups, reviews for mothers, and as well as also ensuring that they can train mothers on best care practices, as well as how to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's how it came to be a product on Ugandan market now. Oh, wow. Right. How is it going so far? Mm -hmm. It's uh, a very interesting challenge that we took on, and it's uh, something that we think that we need to, we are lucky to be the people doing this, uh, taking on this challenge, and uh, we are seeing uh, quite a number of mothers now taking up our services from not just having an in-home visit, but instead of calling for a mother or a relative when you're going to deliver in the hospital, but now you have your own nurse, you go with the nurse as your main caregiver in the hospital. 
uh, we are looking at nurses signing up with Teka and taking Teka as the first choice of uh, pl place to work instead of having to get out of school and then look uh, which clinic, which hospital, mm. as it is traditionally for nurses and healthcare people. Now we are empowering nurses with the tools and work opportunities. So we take it upon ourselves to find for them the work and then they are lucky they are they're happy to come and join us and be able to offer these services. So we, it's going really great. We have a growing number of users. We'll have the community of mothers that keeps on growing and referring fellow mothers to come and join and use take our services. What's the value proposition um, both for the customer, the mother, and uh, the nurse? Yeah, so on the mother's side, we're offering them the convenience and ease to access of healthcare services. Correct. We are removing all the barriers that they would have in like uh, to queuing up in long queues at hospitals, time as well as not having a personalized touch to healthcare. Here you are, you have a nurse in your home next to you in the couch. You have our service for an in-home checkup takes up to two hours, a period that you have to ask questions, learn. And uh, so for, to the mothers, we're looking at convenience, time saving and personalized touch to healthcare. Mm -hmm. And to the nurses, we're empowering them with being able to be self-employed. We give them the tools they need to go and do an in-home checkup. We looked at why, what's the barrier for nurses to be self-employed. Like you can be a freelance journalist. I can be a freelance software engineer. I can work with my computer. But for nurses, there is a barrier in terms of the tools they need. Right. There is someone needs to validate them. And for us now, we're doing that for them. We're, we're telling you, mother, that when you request a nurse from Teheka, we're guaranteeing that this nurse is qualified, trained. You don't have to go through the process of interviewing them, whether they fit. So to the nurses, they have access to work. Our convenience, they work at their own schedules, and for the mothers, is you have everything you need in your hands. Interesting. Ah. So, who dictates uh, how often a nurse should come to my home? Is it the nurse um, after maybe the initial, you know, um, you know, meeting, or is it me that I have to maybe call for a nurse whenever I feel I need help? The plus side, you don't have to call, okay. so it's really upon you, the mother. Mm -hmm. But uh, we looked at uh, our healthcare system and said. What we, for us, we chose the first six weeks after discharge for the postnatal visit. In there, a mother, we have a package for six visits. You get a nurse to come to your place once a week for six weeks. The, the time you need, if you want them on Tuesday, you call them on Tuesday. If you want them, you know you're home on Sunday, you call them on Sunday. So it's more of a pool. You, the, you, the mother, gets to decide when you want the nurse to come in. So, yeah. For two hours? Yes. Our service, we have a, a starting point of two hours. And then from that, you can really expand. We looked at what does a mother need for her to have a comprehensive uh, assessment and well as have uh, someone take them through things that may not necessarily be given taught to you in the hospital. And uh, we, we gave it uh, two hours. You can use all of them or say, you know what, you have done enough in yeah. 30 minutes or less. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, so let's, uh, let's go through this, uh, this interesting app here and uh, get the details of how it works. And uh, for Ugandan out there that is watching this morning, uh, could be uh, a young nurse that has just graduated and is looking for opportunities or could be someone that is in need of a nurse. So where do we start? Yes, so Teka app is available for Android users. So right for now it's still on Android phones. So if you have an Android phone just like you get any other app, you just go to Google Play and you can search for Teka, that's T-E-H-E-C-A, and download Teka app. And when it's on your phone, as soon as you lo open the app, it will take you through a fast onboarding process telling you what we do, how we do it. And then to the beautiful part of it is how easily you can get a nurse. Three simple steps. So when you open the app, it will detect your location. So if you see this dot here, it's, uh, this is where I am. And then you can say, I need to book a nurse. So the, the app will ask you, what would this service be offered? So simply you can say, let's say we shall be at NTV. Let's see if you can actually can even have a nurse come if, to your workplace to do a checkup. All right. So, so you're at NTV, mm -hmm. then you tell us, you choose a package. So for this scenario, if you're at NTV, you'll need like a one-time checkup, right? So you select a checkup for an in-home visit. Uh, then you tell us when you want this service. So the, the idea is here, you are, you're, we are empowering mothers to plan ahead. Mm -hmm. So you can request immediately or you can say, tomorrow I'll be at work at around 2, I'll have a time slot. I can book a nurse in that time. So. So you need a nurse tomorrow, Tuesday, it's like that. And then you tell us a little bit of, about the, the nurse. You can say name, then um, 
the number, mm -hmm. uh, who's requesting. So sometimes we, we are seeing the men being able to request for their wives. You know what? Like I won't be at home, but I need my wife to have a checkup. So you can be requesting for your spouse. And then uh, simply we ask to uh, allow us to prepare the nurse well. Like what do you, what are you asking for the nurse for? Is it uh, sometimes there is a more checkup you need or other things? So you can just say you need a normal routine checkup. Mm -hmm. So I have to type in all that. The only, time, the only time you have to type is really what you're telling us. Okay. When you, so like the specifications. Yeah, like okay. really why you need the nurse. All right. And then, uh, so because we know sometimes there might be a phone, the person is requesting the phone is off, just give us another person's number that we can easily call in case we can't reach the mother. Okay. And simply, that's it. Then it will tell you, you're requesting for a nurse at NTV, you want the service to be tomorrow, you want a one time visit. And uh, of course, it's a paid for service, so we tell you, for now, we're asking cash and delivery and you're going to be paying the nurse actually so for the good work the nurse has done and simply click submit and then take a team will have received your request and a nurse will be dispatched to you after how long so the nurse we are we're giving it a period of 15 to 30 minutes because we're looking at here dealing with people then it's not like a nurse is always on the road with a bag waiting it's uh, we have to schedule them and we have to find the nurse that closest to you and also having the time slot that you have requested for. Mm -hmm. So the actual use case of the survey, we are seeing that mothers are booking for a day ahead or two weeks ahead, say, I'm going to deliver on X date and they're booking for a nurse to be with them in the hospital mm -hmm. and even do follow-up visits. So you see, that's quite easy and smooth for the nurse. It's schedule, easy to schedule the nurse, you know, like you have three days in the hospital and four visits after in the following weeks. Right. So, yeah. Wow. Um, so uh, the billing process yes. is, is, is another. Who determines uh, the bill? Is it? Is, do you have a guideline on the limit of how much they can ask and all that, or is it the nurse that will come and bill me? No. Uh, actually, we looked at it as we say to do a managed marketplace to both help the nurse and the mother. So we'd, we'd, we'd say, we said the, the, the cost of the service, mm -hmm. but then mostly it's guided by the nurse. Uh, and what service you are requesting for. So if you're requesting for a one-time visit, I want, it's not the same as when you're asking for a full-time nurse to be within the hospital. So Teka, Teka gets to set the prices, and these are really I get it by the nurses, telling us, for me, my time is excess amount. And of course, we also know that just like in any profession, there are different levels. So they are very high and expensive nurses. Mm -hmm. And also depending on the client and their requirements, then that's where the price really comes in. So at what point do I know that, OK, fine, for the services that have been able to maybe described in the app yeah. um, cost, will cost me much, this much? At what point will I get that information? Because as customers, mm -hmm. before you get into a deal, you really want to know, mm -hmm. will you afford it or not? So at what point does the client get to know that, OK, fine, for what I really want, this is the much I have to part with in terms of cost. Yeah, so to that question, we worked with our healthcare team, and they came up with uh, the checkups and services that they can, that th things a, mother, a nurse can do when they do a home visit. And these are things that we share with the mothers ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So you say, I need a visit for X, but here's, you just need for one thing, but here's the whole package of things that a nurse can do. So it's upon you as a mother to say, oh, give me everything that's here so that I can do my checklist. Or you say, I'm really interested in these five things, but uh, we encourage our nurses to do a comprehensive checkup and show that they deliver. Sometimes we as customers, as clients, we say, no, I just give me that and they run. But nurses being qualified and they know that they are trained very well, they, are, they do more than just that's on paper. So it's really, we provide you with the tasks and that a nurse should perform. And then it's now upon you to say, oh, I'm in a rush or let me get everything. Yeah. So when I, okay, let's yeah. just assume uh, I'm a mother sure. and maybe I'm at home after giving birth and I really need this help. So I've gone to the app, I've entered all the details. At what point do I get that information that this is what it will cost me? Will you call me first, then tell me that what you described and what you really want will cost you this much? Or will that information be availed in the app? For example, one yeah. of this, uh, you know, transport apps not mentioning of course the companies you first they'll give you an yeah, estimation they'll give you an yeah. estimation so will i know the estimation or um, will the nurse come to my home then after the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like no, 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 actually a situation you know. maybe i didn't mention that so if uh, on the screen you choose a package there's actually a price okay yeah there's a price within the app for the package you chose right. so if it's a one-time visit there is a package there is a cost and actually it's as low as forty five thousand for a visit and then now the other challenge comes like if it's a long term Okay, I say, hey, 
we like to believe that our services are more patient-centered, so we get to do best for the mothers. Sometimes it's going to be long term, and then we, we get to discuss as business to client. Oh, right. okay. So we can negotiate. Oh yes, definitely. Ah, okay. Um, let's talk about the nurses. Yes. Um, there's a nurse out there this morning yeah. and is interested. Um, he wants to be listed on this app. Mm -hmm. Where do they start? Yeah. So do they do, do they okay? Do they have to have some money to come to to Heka? Do they? What's the pro what's the process? No money at all. We don't charge nurses to work with us. Okay. In so fact, it should be the ones paying the nurses. Okay. So what's so, the process like? So uh, simply for any nurse out there, if you want to join Heka, just go to Heka Heka dot com, our website. Then there is a section for nurse. You give us your first initial bio data, and most importantly on that form is your nursing certificate number. We only on board registered and qualified nurses. So when you give us that initial bio data, we get now to follow up with you and then do regular. So for example, can say in October, that's when we're doing an onboarding session. Mm -hmm. We get to collect all the nurses that have signed up, call them in, bring in their details, resumes, because in the app, we ensure that we can give mothers the option of seeing the profiles of the nurses that they're going, they going to come to their places. So we have to add that information to the app. So after signing up on the website, we get your information. We, we do now a cluster onboarding, and then we have get them to how to use the app because it's really important. Okay. Uh, teach them on how why we are different. Why it's not you are not in the clinic, but now going to do the service in their home. Mm -hmm. And this time that's done by our amazing care team to train and onboard all the nurses. Yeah, so it's really simple as sign up on our website, give us your information. And we understand that some people may not really have access to internet and all that. You can just say, hey, Tayeka, give us a call. I want to join you. And then she'll say, come to our office. We are located in Mutungo. Just drop your CV and you can have an initial interview there. And then after that, we shall be able now to call you when we're doing an onboarding to do a general training so that we can also take you through the app and get onto the platform. Well, that, that sounds like um, you, you guys are giving a lot of free things. Where is your benefit here? Well, I said it's a paid for service. Okay. Yes. So somehow so, you. So, so ideally, we for us we take an uh, agreement with the nurses with an, on, yes. on, on a percentage that they can give back for to you for, uh, for giving them, them clients. Oh, okay. And okay. we do more for not just even clients, but we're giving them a whole care kit that they can use for in-home visits. Oh, so you equip them as well. Yes. All right. So you find like a take a kit includes something like a stethoscope, BP machine, thermometers, sanitizers, protective wear, a uniform, mm -hmm. so that when someone knocks on your door. It's not just a random person who you definitely know it. This uh, is the person requested for. Right. Wow. Yeah. So I'm sure nurses really want to. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, maybe I'm in my eight to five job or whatever mm. timelines, and maybe I'm not happy, and maybe this could be an opportunity. But before one forgoes that option, they need to know, uh -huh, so is the money as good as or, you know? So how much are we looking at for a nurse who is interested? How much do they get to earn? You can, okay, don't get into uh, just estimations, yeah, so don't get into the specifics. You can give estimations. I'll give an example of uh, an in-home visit. That's uh, easy on to estimate. Uh, for an in-home visit, a nurse will take uh, from twenty-five to 30000 depending on how far they, they are from the client or what other services that offer. And uh, if this cost is, for us, it's uh, the whole visit is 45000 Yes. And for that, we look at what are, what are the costs involved in providing you with the things you need to do the service. And uh, uh, ideally, the nurse takes an average of 75 to 80% of the cost of a visit. Uh -huh. Yes. Right. Wow. I think that's value for money. Yeah, that's value for money. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much, uh, Rio Gatania. Uh, this is quite an impressive app here. Um, you're such a young man. Many of them are out there uh, seeking government help, government help, <laughs> uh, so that they can get jobs. Uh, it's very good. It's, it's, it's quite impressive to see a young man out there that you have decided that uh, you're going to help others who are looking for jobs to get some some work. Sure thing. Ah, cheers, man. Uh, Daniel Ryonga, a software engineer with uh, Teheka, taking us through uh, this uh, wonderful, wonderful app. I'm definitely going to get this one. I have no children, but I have plans of having children. <laughs> That's the good part. Uh, Actually, join Ali because yeah. we have a very amazing parenting community that uh, we see a place where mothers can be able to come. Actually, not just mothers, all parents ask questions, share experiences. Yeah. Uh, but probably the, the, the last thing I, asked, uh, I forgot to ask is um, are you. Countrywide, or are you in Kampala for now? So, the 
the, our in-home visits are still right now in Kampala and uh, surrounding areas. You can, if you're in Mukono, we can definitely get in. From Entebbe, I could get in. You can get in us in Entebbe, yeah. in Mukono, closer Wakiso, because Wakiso is too big. So it's some, some areas of Wakiso, but uh, for now we're still in the central. But uh, if you want to access really tech services like the prepared mama bag, that's a customized mama kit, you can order it and we can send it to you. Right, if you want to join the community, it's open to any mother anywhere. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, once again, uh, Rionga Daniel, a software engineer with Teheka, joining us this morning for our Tech Note conversation. And uh, we've been looking at this up. If, um, if I were... I'm further out there, mm -hmm. I would uh, definitely get this one. It would save you a lot of hustle. And, uh, of course, if you are a mother out there as well, I think this is uh, a good one. Just to schedule a visit for, you know, uh, kids are at home. Yeah. They need a nurse to just come and have a simple check. Yeah. The nurse can just come. You don't have to drive all the way to the hospital, to the clinic, and then drive the kids there while they're crying in the car, making a lot of noise, and then back home, and then you back to the office. You can just schedule a visit, and the nurse will come and take of the kids or even Jaja. I am right. now thinking about my Jaja. I need to <laughs> order and ask to go check on my Jaja. Uh, thank you very much Yunga, for joining thank us you. this morning and thank you for uh, watching as well. Um, go to your Google uh, store and uh, get Reheka. I think it's a... Teheka. Teheka. Teheka, sorry. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very useful app. Anyway, we'll be back in a few minutes. We'll get into our business update and of course, uh, not to forget, uh, we have a bre breakfast review to share with you. That's all coming up in just a bit. Fifty two games, fifty two updates, and one winner. Catch all the Africa Cup of Nations updates with Joel Kamari, Andrew Kabura, and Justin from the 21st of June to the 19th of July, right here on NTV. The Total Africa Cup of Nations update, proudly sponsored by. Now available at Mark East Africa, Plot 11, Old Port Bay Road, Kampala. Did you know that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world? Well, Daily Monitor's teaching and learning magazine takes you through the essentials of education. Be the first to know. Grab yourself a copy every month.